Good morning, everyone. I'm back. So nice to be back with you on Facebook Friday morning. Rose Ward, Stamper's Delight. So how's everybody doing today? So I took a little hiatus and got ready for my uh, open house, which was great. I had a great open house. Thank you for everyone that came and asked questions about it. So today, now we can start with the new catalog, and I can show you the new catalog, open it in front of you. I'm sure everybody has seen it. But what I decided to start with was uh, Noble Peacock Suite, and I added a little bit more. So we're going to get started on that, but before we do, I just want to thank Angie. Angie's from Australia, and she sent me this lovely card. Isn't that great? Thank you so much for that, Angie. I don't see any comments coming in, so I'm hoping that uh, everybody's on. Let's just see here. There we go. I had to reset everything because I haven't been on for a while. So, okay, there's everybody. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Tris. Yes, it's Friday. So, again, what I decided on today was Noble, uh, Noble Peacock, which is page... 25 on the in the catalog so let's get started okay let me switch the camera okay so in case you didn't hear me roseward stampers delight.com that's all you have to remember if you'd like to order from me or join my team i'd love to have you this is my june hostess code i know it's a little small but if you go to the website, it would be on there. Okay. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Lisa. Yes, please share my videos. I actually have... Let's do this first because this is always exciting. I have a giveaway. I haven't done one in a while. Okay, so this giveaway is, and it's no longer available, is the Painted Season Stamps with the matching framelits. Now, this is no longer available. This is brand new, never used. And I'm going to pick a name on Sunday when I do my Facebook Live Sunday at 7 p.m. And uh, just share my videos and leave comments. Do both and you get in there twice, okay? All right, so let's get started. I've got a lot, to show you, a lot to show you before I go to work. So this is Noble Peacock. Absolutely gorgeous. I knew I was going to start with this one because I knew I love the foils and the loving those rhinestones, the colored rhinestones. That's on page 25. But I am going to mix and match it with a few things, which you'll see. So let's move this out of the way. And I'll bring in some of the samples. So, the first sample I'm going to show you is the new foil paper. This is on um, Old Olive with the Pretty Peacock. Now, I'm going to bring it up close because I don't think you could see it that well. But I used our new shimmer embossing powder. This is the white shimmer embossing powder. And let me bring it in real close. It's beautiful. Very light colored. And then what I did was I did color it in with the blends. You know, I played around with it for a while. And um, I think it came out pretty nice. This is the ribbon that goes with the suite. And then this, the oval here, the larger oval, the small one I cheated. I used my punch, which is retired. But this large oval right here is actually, and you'll see I used it a lot from the band together set and band together is on page 21 i'm going to show you why i use that um, i like the sayings i think the sayings beautiful inside now best day ever happy birthday i think they go well with the pretty peacock or royal peacock but this is why i used it because i really like these dies for the sentence and you'll see these dies in some of the cards that I'm going to be doing. They're absolutely beautiful. Remember now this one, when you cut it out, of course there's no middle, but you can take that middle piece and flip it around and you'll see what I mean and use it as a sentiment. So again, I think this bundle right here band together with the framelits went really well with the cards that I did. Okay. So the inside, of course, congratulations on, I'm not going to read you all the sentiments. You can see that in the catalog. So that's the first one I did. Now that playing along on that same note with the embossing powders, I also tried the black uh, shimmer embossing powder. And 
you know, some of them worked, some of them didn't. This is with um, the sea, sea spray blue. This one was the shimmer. And then I kind of colored it a little too much, same as these. So I played around, put the gold embossing powder in there, put the white shimmer in there. So my suggestion is just play around with these. And I always have them to play with later on. All right. So the next thing I did was with the gold embossing powder, and I know we don't sell the gold sequins anymore, but we do sell the foil cards and uh, envelopes. Very simple. Gold embossing powder with the gold ribbon and our, I didn't put anything on the inside yet but I just wanted to show you how simple and beautiful this card these cards can come out and then I'll bring in the silver one I didn't have the silver sequins so and this was embossed with the silver now there'll be still shots later on the next thing I want to show you is um, this well let's show you this one first because this is well, you know what? I forgot to show you the stamp set. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. The beautiful dies. So there's two dies. You stamp this uh, stamp with this one, and then this die cuts it out. And then there's another one, a real intricate die. And you'll see me use that. And then, of course, you have some other ones here. Little peacock feathers for the flowers. And then also in that suite is the beads and baubles, which kind of look like the peacock feathers. Yeah, I just jumped right in, Kathy. <laughs> oh, you just jumped right in. Okay, well, we both did. <laughs> yes, I missed all my Facebook friends. I really missed doing these. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. Okay, so with that said... Are you ready? Here's one of the cards. Now that's with the folder and the, the foils, the foil paper that goes with it. Emboss the folder. And this is the intricate die. Now this is with our new sprinkles. Remember we used to have brush -o. The difference, somebody asked me about it. The difference is, and I'm gonna, if I have time, I'm gonna show you just real quick on this later. Okay, but these have a nice little shaker on them. And also they are in our, our colors. Okay, so that's the difference between them and the brush -o that I know of. They're a little bit finer, I think, too. Okay, so they're watercolor crystals. But I'll show you a little bit on that, and I'll show you a little faux sprinkle card, too. So, again, I did the sprinkles on our watercolor paper. Again, I used the Banded Together um, Framelit set for the saying. And again, I used the Banded Together Birthday. Okay, so that's another one. Then bringing in, I used the Tuft, um, Tuft Dynamic Folder, which we still sell, with the Blueberry Bushel Foil. Again, I used the Sprinkles here. So it's really just the same card, just a little different. This one has ribbon, this one doesn't. But I wanted you to see the different colors. Okay. Then, again, with the uh, Bandit Together stamp set and, well, bundle, the um, framelits are actually called, I don't want to framelits are called the just the band dies. I want to show you what I did with this. Now remember I said this one, right? Okay, so I used the foil paper that this the this is the designer series paper. It's foil paper, but it's already has um, a pattern to it. And I used some of our other ribbon. And I used this piece to cut that out. And then that middle piece, even though it was a piece of foil, I mean, it could be a dog bone, actually. But anyway, I flipped it around, and I used it for the saying. So we don't waste anything here. Okay, and then the inside. Now, this little stamp looks like the peacock's head. Okay, but I love it for the inside sentiment. And you'll see I use that a lot. Thank you, Wendy. 
Thank you, Megan. Angie, thank you for your card. So again, this bandit together framelit set goes so well with this. And here's another piece that I didn't actually use, but this looks like a peacock kind of thing to me too. Move that back out of the way. Okay, the next one is just simple stamping. And I just used this piece right here, which I'm going to show you a couple of times on here to get the different colors. These are This is our new um, Purple Posy. Oh, I love this set. And then, of course, the inside. You see, and I used that little peacock feather stamp again. And you see that I use the Banded Together stamps a lot because I just think they match up really well. Next one I used, and when I saw this paper, let me just see if I can grab a small sheet before I show you the whole piece. This paper right here, when I saw that, yes, it looks like the, the uh, embossing folder, but you know what I thought of? Christmas. Looks like snowflakes to me, doesn't it? I think it does. So what I did was I took the sentiments from our new Lots of Cheer, and I teamed that up with the Bandit together and our foil papers, and I made a Christmas card. Look at that's the other insert one, or the other um, framelit to that set. And then, of course, with that framelit set banded together, you get that oval. Isn't that beautiful? Again, I'll have still shots. And the, the Christmas saying, again, that's from Lots of Cheer. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you and also do some stamping. Looking at the time perfect. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is this one. So I stamped this. And then I cut it out with the framelits. And then I used the um, colored rhinestones, of course. This is with Melon Mambo. But I'm going to do this one a little bit different. So let me bring in my pieces of... Okay. So I'm going to bring this in. And I'm going to bring in my ink pad here. I'm going to do this in blueberry bushel. And of course I forgot my mat. Where's my, there it is. Not too far away. All right. So I'm going to ink this re up really well. Now the larger stamps, if you have the Stamparatus, that works really well. I just didn't have any room to use my Stamparatus today. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do that. And bring that in. Remember what I always tell my stampers in class, if you can see through the stamp, you want to use the mat. So I'm going to go ahead and press that down. Now this is the card we're doing, but we're changing it up a little bit. You see I use the pretty peacock here. This one I'm using blueberry bushel. Now for the different colors in here, I'm going to start with Mango Melody. And I'm just going to bring it all the way up to the top. Stamp right over that. And you, now you can see I got a little of the Mango Melody. And of course I forgot to clean, get my cleaner. Let's just see. Uh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to clean this off. I'm going to bring in my Rococo Rose. Here I used um, Melon Mambo. Remember, I'm changing up the colors. I'm going to ink that up. And I'm going to move this ever so slightly over a little bit. Now you see I got, don't worry about that because we're going to cut that out. Now you see I got the different colors. I could also go back in there and do another color. But for time's sake, we won't. And then what I'm going to do is just take this die and cut it out. I 
actually, let me just show you something else before I do that. Okay, so I know that Momento is what we're supposed to use with the blends, but I found that you can actually use with the blends with the other colors if you're real careful. So with the fine point, I'm just going to add a little color. In through here as long as I'm not getting too close to the blueberry bushel and I'm just tapping it it won't smear trust me even if it did nobody's gonna say anything the card comes out so pretty so when I do this okay I try not to go over it you might go over it a little bit you see sometimes you just can't help it but if you do it with a very gentle touch, it doesn't smear. Look at that. I'm only going to go down that far. A little bit right there. Okay. Like that. Okay. So, of course, I already cut one out so that we didn't have to do that. There we go. And there's a lot of white space here. So, if you wanted to, you could add some more of the feathers just by going right back in there and stamping it and getting some of the color down there. So, then I'm going to bring in my papers here that I already cut. And this is blueberry bushel. And I'm not, just leave me any comments, any uh, questions, and I will answer them all later. Okay, so there, there's the blueberry bushel. For this one, I'm going to bring in Rococo Rose with the embossing folder, which I already did. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little of the Rococo Rose ribbon. This is our new ribbon. Just going to wrap that around this way. I'm going to go ahead and snail this down. I go right over that ribbon once I put it down so it holds it in place. And you can always play with it. See, I just got it crooked, so I'll just pull it back up and move it. And then I'm just going to layer that right there. And then I'm going to put this one right here. Look at the difference. And let me just get my dimensionals, which I left on the other side of the table. Quick, easy, pretty card. Oh, you see I made a mistake on there, so I just flipped it around. See? We all make mistakes, but we don't waste anything. I like showing you that I make mistakes too. <laughs> Quite a few of them actually. <laughs> and when Ann will just uh, come on and tell me the saying that she always says about mistakes, but I can't remember what it is because it's too early in the morning. Get that back there. Okay. So I'm just going to lay that right here. Then I, I also already did this, the oval, which is from the bandit together. And I'm going to bring in the happy birthday from the bandit together. Do I want to make another birthday card? Wishing you a happy birthday. And for this, I'm also going to use the dimensionals. And just slide that right in there. Sometimes I don't get it straight when I, the way I'm looking down at the camera. Then I'm just going to grab another little piece of ribbon here. And I'm just going to slide that under. Instead of making a bow, I'm just going to slide that under here and tie a little knot. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Just flip that around so you can see the color a little better. And there you have it. Again, the same card, just different uh, colors. 
And then what I would do is I've used so many of these already. These cut the colored rhinestones. Absolutely love them. And then I'm going to add a few of these. I like to put one right up there. And then got the larger ones. Just a few of these inside the feathers. I'll be buying more of these, definitely. We're going to go through a lot of these at class. And there you have it. You can also add some Winka Stella, which I did have on my table here somewhere. And I'm sure I'll find it eventually. But you can add the Winka Stella, which would make it nice and shiny. Well, maybe this is it. This might be the one that's not full. And Winka Stella, when you're putting it on, just be careful that you don't um, smear. Some of the colors smear, so I use a gentle hand. This is actually the one that's not quite as full, but you can add the Wink of Stella. So same card, different colors. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you. And let's see where that one is. Oh, this one right here. Okay. So this is all one color. But look how nice that looks. Are you ready? It opens up this way. And there we have it. And if you look real close, you've got the rhinestones right here also. Oh, thank you, Lisa. So let me show you how I did that. But again, we're going to change it up a little bit. So this one, I'm using the old olive. Let me close these up because I'll get my hands in them. Bring the old olive. And this is um, the cardstock cut lengthwise. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold it over. And I'll put everything on this uh, Facebook Live when I'm done. And then I'm just going to fold it one time back. So this is a Z fold card. Then I took the old olive paper, the foil paper. And these two pieces, I believe, are two and a half by four. Let's just check that. Four. Yep, two and a half. So that's going to get layered right on top right here okay this one I'm gonna put right inside here just because I like the way it looks you don't have to you could leave that that piece with no no foil paper no designer series paper on it but I want to put it on there make sure these are going the right way not that anybody would notice when they get this beautiful card. Okay, so when it opens, it's looking like that. Now, this piece is going to go right in here. Okay. What I did was I teamed it up, paired it up with our rectangle, rectangle uh, framelits. Now, because I don't know the actual sizes, I'm going to show you how I method to my madness. The two that I used were... Next to the largest for the inside. Oh, nope. Sorry. Next to the largest was for this one, the outside. Next to the largest, okay, was for the white piece. And then one, two, three, the fourth one in is for this. This one I'm actually going to cut. The other one I already did. And then inside, I use the same size because that's going to pop out. Does that make sense? Okay, show you what I mean. I'm going to bring in the big shot. And this is going to rock the table a little bit. So I do apologize for that. Let's move this out of the way. And my card. I have a lot of space here, but you'd never know it the way... I have everything on here. Okay, so let's put this in there. So I'm going to put my paper down. 
Okay, and I'm going to layer that right in the middle. And you know what that means once I get that. I also have another piece to use for another project. Okay, I'm going to stand up, so I apologize if the table moves and it goes blurry for a minute. There we go. It's going to... There we go. Okay. Let me just put this back here. Get it out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to bring that back in. There's the framelit. Pop that out. Because I'm only using the frame side. But this piece right here, I will use for another project. You see it's got the stitching. So we'll put that right back there. And put these there. So this piece of Designer Series paper is going to go right in here. So I'm just going to glue that down. And go right in there and then the piece that I already cut out which is the same size from white it's gonna go right inside there this piece is for the the um, peacock but what I want to show you a little bit different is remember I brought in the sprinkles and again, you sprinkle, you spray, your, you spritz your wa your water on your watercolor paper. You do the sprinkles, you spritz it some more, and you get this tie dyed effect. And I had another video on that, and uh, we probably won't have time to show it to you, but I will definitely do a, a sprinkle video. But also, what you can do is you can fake it. You can fake it by using our silhouette paper, designer series paper, on page one sixty six which has paper that looks like this already sprinkled and with this dye you can cut that out and look what you get you get the sprinkle effect or tie dyed effect pretty cool huh so instead of doing a foil one I'm going to use the tie dyed one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my detailed glue and just add a little glue on here. Just a couple of places to keep it down and this really does keep it down. Now you can use Tombow but I find with the real fine intricate dyes I like using the detailed glue better close it up right away you have time before it dries because otherwise the nozzle on this will dry up okay and then I'm just gonna flip that around I just like to change up the card a little bit so you can see the difference I'm just gonna lay that down and hold it for a second thank you Gloria take that back out because I gotta stamp it I'm going to bring in my old olive. I'm going to bring in You Are Incredible, which is from the Noble Peacock. And stamp that right there. And on the inside, I'm going to use So Proud of You. not using my mat and then remember what I said about this cute little guy this is I love using this for that okay so let's move this out of the way bring that back in and for this one I did it flat right in the middle right in the center of that it's flat for this one, I'm going to actually pop it up a little bit. So I'm going to add some dimensionals. So that's my faux 
my faux sprinkle card, my faux tie dyed card. Move those out of the way. And I'm just going to put that right back in the middle. But now it's going to be popped up a little bit. This little guy is going to get placed right here. Now remember when you snail that down, you want, don't want to go all the way down. You do want to put a good about amount of snail there. but And you're just going to cover that right up. Bring in, of course, my rhinestones. This one you can actually use a bunch of different colors because it's got so many colors in it. We're going to use these. And I'm just going to add some around the bottom. Just to give it a little color. And then let's just see. Maybe a few right here. If you put that where the colors are a different color, it shows up really nice. You can mix and match the colors, but I'm kind of using, want the green to come into play. I'm going to stick one right here, too. Oh, I'm just going to keep going with these rhinestones. A <laughs> couple more, okay? Yeah, you need to buy a lot of these. And then maybe the larger one to start it right here. There we go. Boom. Look at that. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, and let me just show you here so you can see this. This is the foil paper again with that embossing folder. Absolutely gorgeous. So let me bring the cards back in. And again, I will um, have the still shots shortly. Oh, look, I forgot I put a little rhinestone there. Well, we can't have that. So let's put a blue one up there just to make it a little bit different. There we go. Okay, like that better. The other ones that were brought, I brought in, let's see, this one is right here. We have the two different colors. We have the Christmas one. We have the simply stamped one. And then, of course, we have these two with the bandit. Oh, this one's with the bandit. This one's with the bandit together. And then this one, again, is with the sprinkles. I might just have enough time to show you that real quick. Okay. And here are the two with the foil, silver and the gold foil. All right. So I do have a couple minutes here. So let me find a piece of paper that I can do this with. Oh, here it is. Okay. No, that's not it. I did cut a piece, so just in case. Okay, here we go. This is our new um, fluid watercolor paper, which is actually pretty um, thick, so I like that. And looking for the rest of it here, because I did want to show you where my water went. I don't know. Here it is. Okay. So for some reason, I think there's ink in here. All right, so we're going to just spritz this. See, I have a little color there. I don't know how that got in there. Spritz that. I use a glove because it really does get all over. So I just get these in the dollar store. You don't even have to put it on all the way. But just to save you from getting all that color on you. Yeah, it's starting to dry. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's use the grape, gorgeous grape. Just going to flick that up a little bit. That's enough of that. And then let's put in a little melon mambo just so you can see the, the colors, okay? Again, I'm trying not to get it all over my 
hands. It's a little messy, but it's so worth it. I'm just throwing in two colors so that we can get the idea. See, it's already starting to spread out. And if you want, you can add a little more water. My suggestion is once you do this, let it dry a little bit, and then you can see where you need to, or to spritz a little more water. So, yes, if you have brush -o, if somebody's going to ask, I don't need that if I have brush -o. That's true, you don't. It's very similar. However, these colors match our colors, and they're a, the crystals are a little bit thinner. So I find that it really does blend better. Okay. So that's our new sprinkles. So I hope you enjoyed my video on Noble Peacock. I'm so glad you came back and joined me today, and I will see you Sunday at 730. Remember to leave me comments and share my videos. And on Sunday, I buried it again. I will be giving away that free stamp set and bundle. It's somewhere on this table. Where at this point? I have no clue. <laughs> so join me again on Sunday. I'm still looking. Oh, well. Okay. Join me on Sunday evening, 7.30. Uh, 7, 7 p.m. Oh, my gosh. I need more coffee. Thanks so much for coming back and tuning in. Have a great weekend. Have a great Father's Day weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers, the dads, the granddads, the godfathers, and everyone that's just like a dad. So happy stamping. Bye.